Hello, this is Chella and you're watching Speaker TV. I started producing music when I was 12. My dad taught me how to use Logic 2 on my big PC computer. When, um, yeah, I would just kind of, I was very geeky, I had these weird teeth, and I would just sit alone in my bedroom all day and try and make music. And my sister was this amazing singer, so I didn't really sing that much. But um, later on down the track, I kind of discovered the love of singing and performing and being in the spotlight. Later when, after I had my teeth sorted out, went to the orthodontist. So yeah, now I um, perform and I love it. I put out two singles last year. One was called Plastic Gun and one was called Full Moon. And I'm releasing one called Guts next month. Oh, next week. And I'm releasing a mixtape next month, which has seven songs on it, but a few will be stuff that people have heard already. The clip I made is by a band called Ro Hypnotize and it's called Fade to Grey and it was made in New York. The treatment was like the song has these strange changes like with the chords and like the rhythm, the pattern of the song and so I just felt like the changes should be made in a visual sense as well at the same time. So it's kind of this guy who's actually one of my best friends and he's sitting in a chair and then the surroundings change on every time the music changes he's all of a sudden like we're on Coney Island beach and then another time he's sitting in the same chair same position um, in front of a basketball game in Brooklyn. The visual thing is so important to me even in perf live performance I just um, I mean I've only actually played a, a handful of live shows but I'm, re I'm kind of having talks with this guy, this audiovisual guy who wants to do special like stage effects like have fire come out of my hands and like stuff like that so at the moment like I'm building that up and I really, I really want to base a huge um, importance on that kind of stuff so yeah for me visuals so so important and I'm always thinking of how I can entertain people visually as well as with my music so I'm very busy I must say. <laughs> For my MOG playlist, I chose Pressure Down by John Farnham. Um, it's one of the first songs I ever remember hearing as a kid, and me and my sister would jump up and down on one of those little exercise trampolines to it, and I've got this really great footage of that. And I've just always used it as a really good time, like any time I feel like I want to party or having a good time in my car, just I've never ever gotten sick of it in all this time. Dare Me by the Pointer Sisters is really important to me because uh, I also love the music video, it's insane. I just love that the Pointer Sisters back in that day were acting as men and they do it so well, like they've got the swagger and everything and to me androgyny is um, very intriguing and interesting to me. A Little More For Little You by The Hives and I love that song because it was probably the first song I ever heard of The Hives and it really kind of that's, that was the start of my punk rock obsession, which I went through for like maybe five years. And it kind of took my virginity in a way. <laughs> and so as soon as I heard that song, I was like, fuck yeah, punk rock for life. Secret TV.